Will you pray with me? Hosanna. We cry to the spirit of Christ who takes on flesh and moves among us. Save us from our struggle to believe we have what we need to manifest Christ in our lives and create a different way of living together. You free us from traps of guilt. You show us the way of liberation that welcomes all who desire justice and healing. Your grace leads us in learning and unlearning. You manifest both softly and fiercely. Your love is a catalyst that opens possibilities we cannot yet imagine. Turn us towards each other. Our salvation is collective. Hosanna. Amen. Amen. Our initial scripture tonight is John chapter 13, verses 1 through 17. Again, I invite you to let these words wash over you and potentially land differently this year. Just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his dear companions, he continued to love them right to the end. It was supper time. The devil by now had Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, firmly in his grip, set for the betrayal. Jesus knew that the father had put him in complete charge of everything, that he came from God and was on his way back to God. So he got up from the supper table, set aside his robe and put on an apron. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of the disciples, drying them with his apron. When he got to Simon Peter, Peter said, Master, you wash my feet? Jesus answered, you don't understand now what I'm doing, but it will be clear enough to you later. Peter persisted. You're not going to wash my feet ever. Jesus said, if I don't wash you, you can't be a part of what I'm doing. Master, said Peter, not only my feet then, wash my hands, wash my head. Jesus said, if you've had a bath in the morning, you only need your feet washed now and you're clean from head to toe. My concern, you understand, is holiness, not hygiene. So now you're clean, but not every one of you. He knew who was betraying him. That's why he said, not every one of you. After he had finished washing their feet, he took his robe, put it back on, and went to his place at the table. Then he said, do you understand what I have done to you? You address me as teacher and master, and rightly so, that is what I am. So if I, the master and teacher, washed your feet, you must now wash each other's feet. I've laid down a pattern for you. What I've done, you do. I'm only pointing out the obvious. A servant is not ranked above his master. An employee doesn't give orders to the employer. If you understand what I'm telling you, act like it and live a blessed life. You may join me in these words. Um, we'll keep your, your microphones off, but in your space, um, you can join me in the bolded print. Empathy means understanding someone else the way they want to be understood. Christ knew the way. By disrobing and bending down to wash Peter's feet, Christ showed us the way. By overturning the teacher-student hierarchy, Christ showed us the way. By telling the disciples that no one is ranked above another, Christ showed us the way. Even in the hour of his betrayal, Christ showed us the way. I invite you to join us now in singing this song will probably be familiar to you. It is all belong here. When you're not 
Our second scripture this evening is from John chapter 13, verses 18 through 35. I'm not including all of you in this. <clears throat> I know precisely whom I've selected so as not to interfere with the fulfillment of this scripture. The one who ate bread at my table will stab me in the back. I'm telling you all this ahead of time so that when it happens, you will believe that I am who I say I am. Make sure you get this right. Receiving someone I send is the same as receiving me, just as receiving me is the same as receiving the one who sent me. After he said these things, Jesus became visibly upset. And then he told them why. One of you is going to betray me. The disciples looked around at one another, wondering who on earth he was talking about. One of the disciples, the one Jesus loved dearly, was reclining against him, his head on his shoulder. Peter motioned to him to ask who Jesus might be talking about. So being the closest, he said, Master, who? 
Jesus said, the one to whom I give this crust of bread after I've dipped it. Then he dipped the crust and gave it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. As soon as the bread was in his hand, Satan entered him. What you must do, said Jesus, do. Do it and get it over with. No one around the supper table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas was their treasurer, Jesus was telling him to buy what they needed for the feast or that he should give something to the poor. Judas, with the piece of bread, left. It was night. When he had left, Jesus said, now the son of man is seen for who he is and God seen for who he is in him. The moment God is seen in him, God's glory will be on display. In glorifying him, he himself is glorified. Glory all around. Children, I am with you for only a short time longer. You are going to look high and low for me. But just as I told the Jews, I'm telling you, where I go, you are not able to come. Let me give you a new command. Love one another in the same way I loved you. You love one another. This is how everyone will recognize that you are my disciples when they see the love you have for each other. Let me give you a new command. Love one another. In the same way I loved you, you love one another. This is how everyone will recognize that you are my disciples when they see the love you have for each other. Join me again in these words. Radical solidarity means that whatever happens to you happens to me. Christ knew the way. By joining himself with the fate of humanity, Christ showed us the way. By sharing openly about his own death, Christ showed us the way. By loving his disciples in ways they could repeat with each other, Christ showed us the way. Bound together with the love of Christ, we can make our way. I'm changing things up. Our next song is called God Our Mother. This may be a familiar song to you, it may not. But after this, we'll do communion. So if you need a minute to grab anything for communion, this is an opportunity to do that.
on this night, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and he blessed it, giving thanks. And he broke it to share with his friends, his loved ones, with those who would even betray and deny him. He shared it with all, saying, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And so we partake weekly, monthly, throughout the year, but we receive tonight on the same night that Jesus first offered the bread. After supper, he took the cup and he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink this in remembrance of me. Receive the cup this evening with an open heart, open to receive Jesus's willingness to walk this holy week into these final days and his final breaths. Amen. Please pray with me. This is a poem prayer. You hardly imagined standing there, everything you ever loved suddenly returned to you, looking you in the eye and calling your name. And now you do not know how to abide this ache in the center of your chest where a door slams shut and swings open at the same time turning on the hinge of your aching and hopeful heart. I tell you, this is not a banishment from the garden. This is an invitation, a choice, a threshold, a gate. This is your life calling to you from a place you could never have dreamed. But now that you have glimpsed its edge, you cannot imagine choosing any other way. So let the tears come as anointing, as consecration, and then let them go. Let this blessing gather itself around you. Let it give you what you will need for this journey. You will not remember the words, they do not matter. All you need to remember is how it sounded when you stood in the place of death and heard the living call your name. Amen.
Thank you everyone for being here with us this evening. I invite you to join us tomorrow in our self-guided Good Friday ritual. And um, there will be information about that on the Broadway website as well as the Crossroads website. And if you're a Broadway person, you'll get the link in the newsletter tomorrow as well. I also just placed it in the chat <laughs> so you can find it. You can grab it and save it if you'd like. Wonderful. Thank you everyone for joining us for Holy Week. Yeah. I Thank look you. forward to hopefully celebrating with you again next year. Evening, everyone. Bye everyone. <laughs>